Greetings, it's me, Dead Ghost, and welcome back to the second video of the Grow a Bigger Heart Challenge. So the first thing you've probably noticed about this video is its weird lighting, and that's because I almost always use natural sunlight in my life. Um, I almost never use the actual like light in my room, and the sun is not up. It's like, I think it's like 1am. I don't remember if I changed my clock or not. Um, for daylight savings, so I don't actually know what time it is. But, I'm here. Um, if you're noticing this weird glare thing, um, the LEDs themselves were too dark, so I thought LEDs plus just a bunch of, like, tiny candles would balance it. Can maybe if I move this, like, or can I move it off screen so there's not a glare? Well, now there's, like, a weird white glow. Whatever. Over a year ago, I wanted to make a series about, like, conspiracy theory reviews, and I was planning on doing, like, lighting like this. And then I never got around to doing it, because I have a horrible habit of starting things and never finishing them. I'm a terrible procrastinator. But anyway, on with today's video. So, this is just kind of an update on how regrowing my heart has been going, and... I gave it a kind of clickbaity title, you know, like, I've made a mistake. What was the mistake? Well, this is going to make me look like a dumbass, but I actually forgot that green tea had caffeine in it. And you might say, how the hell did you forget? Your little paper called out green tea by name. And, like, I said green tea out loud. I I don't know. It's, it, this really comes down to a, like, you believe what you want to believe kind of thing, where it, I guess I just had some mental disconnection between, like, reading off a paper and telling a doctor, like, yes, I understand, and, like, actually getting it in my head. But to be fair, the green tea box in my house doesn't say anything about caffeine on it. It doesn't say no caffeine, it doesn't say high in caffeine, and I just assumed no for some reason, because all the other boxes in my house, like, say they have caffeine or not. Whatever. But it's actually really hard to find tea that doesn't have, like, a little bit of caffeine added in. So, you know, Mormons, they're not allowed to drink things with caffeine in it, and I have a little bit of, like, sympathy for them now. Like, Mormons, I understand how hard it is for you guys to get, like, a good drink. I feel, I feel really bad for you. Anyway, that was my mistake, is I was, I was drinking green tea, and I felt so good. Like, I was like, wow, I'm, I'm crushing this no caffeine thing. Like, I'm having, like, two or three cups of tea a day. Who needs coffee? And then a family member called me out on it, and I googled it. I googled, like, does green tea have caffeine? And it said yes. And later that day, I was feeling really bad heart problems, and I couldn't tell. I, I felt really, like, exhilarated. Like, I felt like I'd just been running, and I couldn't tell, was it the caffeine? Or was it now that you know about the caffeine, your brain's doing it like a placebo? Because the days before, I was drinking green tea, and I didn't even realize what was going on, and I didn't feel that way. So maybe I was feeling that, and I just ignored it. Or I wasn't feeling... My hair looks weird. My hair keeps flopping in front of my face. Or that wasn't going on in the past, and it was a placebo effect. Which, it, it really doesn't matter which way it was. All that matters is um, I'm no longer drinking green tea. I've recognized my mistake, and I'm going to stop. <laughs> so, moving on from addressing, you know, the weird clickbait title, how have things been going on the challenge? Um, They've been good. I, I still suffer from fainting and lightheadedness and a lot of, like, heart pain, but it's very uncommon. Like, it used to be something that would happen multiple times a week, and now maybe it happens, like, once a week. Um, I actually, I can't tell if it's been, like, two weeks or three weeks since I've been doing this. Or, like, one week. Recently, time has been hard. Like, I've always really, really struggled with time. And understanding, like, what day is it? What year is it? And this isn't because of caffeine. Like, it's not like a, oh, I have a bad sleep schedule now. But it's like, I really wake up, and I don't know, like, what day of the week it is, or what day of the month it is. Like, this morning I woke up, and I was like, when is it? And a family member was like, what do you mean? Uh, I After I collected my thoughts, I was like, what day is it? And they were like, oh, it's Saturday. 
Um, but there have been times where I'll, like, bolt up, like, I fall asleep on the couch, and I just, like, bolt up, and I'm like, yo, like, what, when are we? Like, I'm in some time travel movie. But, yeah, I, recently, I've really not understood time at all. Like, I feel like I blink, and, like, a whole week passes, and I don't get anything done, and I feel bad, like, because I'm not getting YouTube videos out, I'm not doing other stuff. So I'm really gonna try to work with that. But, um, there's just... There's something wrong. I don't know what it is, but my, my sense on time has just gone down. But however long I've been doing this, like, you know, regrow your heart challenge, things are pretty good. I went on a bike ride for multiple miles the other day, and yeah, I have done that before with my shrunken heart, but it's really 50-50 how it goes. Like, there are times where I'll go on a bike ride, maybe with a friend, maybe by myself, and it's great. And there are other times where I need to stop every, like, five minutes. So I feel like collapsing. And I went on a bike ride with my sister like that like a month ago. Where I, I genuinely felt like I was going to die multiple times on the trip. Like I felt like I was having a heart attack. Like I, my, my body was going numb and it was really scary. So. Uh, the fact that I was able to go on a bike ride and like my heart hurt. But it didn't hurt really bad. It kind of hurt the way my heart used to hurt before my heart shrunk. Like. I was in a gym class at school, and when I'd run, my heart would hurt, but, like, in a good way. So, I feel like I'm improving. The fact that my symptoms are down to, like, once a week, uh, I've really been staying on top of it with the water. I've stopped drinking green tea, because I learned I'm not supposed to do that, and I should have known that from the beginning, but I just had some sort of, like, mental blockage. But, yeah, with exercise, with water, with everything, so far this is looking really good. Um, I had a glass of fruit juice a few days ago because I wasn't supposed to like never have it. I was just supposed to have a way less than I was having because it can cause diarrhea. So now instead of having like two glasses of fruit juice a day, I have like one glass every other week. I'm not feeling any withdrawal symptoms of anything anymore. I'm feeling really healthy. So this will probably be the only video I make in between now and when I go back to the doctor and they look at my heart again and see if it grew back. So, you know, cheers to my good health, and I hope all of you are also healthy as well. Comment down below if you like this lighting setup or if you hate it, because I am going to do the conspiracy theory review. I planned to do it last, like, August or whatever. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So if you like it, I'll make it look like this. Maybe I'll get, like, um, raised candles so they're, like, on screen. But, yeah, comment down below. Do you like the lighting? What conspiracy theories do you want me to review? Um, I don't know. I feel like I should do one more thing in this video before I end it. Um, check out my new sage plants. You can tell this was early in the morning because I called aloe sage. Like, I love gardening. I know the difference between aloe and sage. What the hell was that? Here we got Anselm and Gilgamesh the Immortal. Um, I got them from Walmart. I wish you all good luck and good health. It's been me, that ghost. Bye.